Almost 6,000 miles away from Tokyo, this is home for Lauren Price. Her nan and auntie are still in awe of their boxing champ. Even her dog Buster is decked out in Olympic glory. I was crying, I was in tears. Tears of joy, obviously, but um, elated for her because she's worked so blooming hard for this, you know? Since she's eight years of age, she's, she had three dreams to follow and she's achieved them all. What else is left, you know? And you must be so proud as well. Just ecstatic, absolutely over the moon for her. Lauren Price is an exceptional athlete. She's mastered kickboxing and has 52 caps playing football for Wales. But she wanted to go to the Olympic Games and made the move to boxing, becoming Commonwealth, World and European champion and now Olympic gold. This is where her boxing career began. At a local community club. Her first coach was delighted to see her win in Tokyo. We're really proud, really. Oh, when she was 15, 16, she had a brother here as well, and I, but um, she always had very fast hands and fast feet, but she was very calm and collective. Others at the gym also remember training with Lauren. For a 15-year-old, she could hit, she was strong, and I, I knew straight away you know, how special she was, and she's easy going, she's bubbly, she's fun, she, yeah, she's a good laugh, she's very laid back as well. The boxing club sits in an area that's seen its fair share of hardship right in the heart of the Welsh Valleys. Olympic gold now putting it firmly on the international map. During the Games, Lauren has spoken of how text messages from Nan at home have kept her focused. I still only text with one finger. I usually say, dream, dream big, follow your dream. Don't forget now you're on the moon, it's time to land. And all this is up to you. Make, just make sure it's a soft landing. And we're always with her, we're with her in our hearts. Her family hope the post box right outside Lauren's window will soon be painted Olympic gold. And they say she'll stay in the amateur sport and go for double glory in Paris in three years' time. Harriet Hadfield, Sky News, South Wales.